Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the era of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome! It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today I want to do another user choice, and in fact, I'm going to be a little bit deeper than that. Uh, one of the more prolific commenters in uh, the channel is a fellow named the Paul V12. He always has something interesting to say, and uh, this time he said, "Hey, look at this! I built the Nelson," and I thought, "Okay, I've tried that, and I've never been able to make it work." But guess what? He thought out of the box, <laughs> and I have to admit, it's uh, it's it's brilliant. It's cheesy. It's cheesy brilliant. What he's done, <laughs> and it seems to work, uh, although it does have some issues. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to flip the um, the scenario with the H class battleship uh, attacking a British convoy with. Uh, a heavy cruiser and we're going to try to build the Nelson or as close to the Nelson as we can we're going to we're going to build the Paul's Nelson <laughs> that's what we're going to do and uh, if no other no other reason because it's entertaining what he's done to get the four and a half balance where it needs to be and we're going to defend that uh, convoy against uh, a German battleship and and a heavy cruiser. So let's uh, Brits, Germans. Now we're going to step it up to 1940 to get the toys we want to play with. And oh, I don't remember what range we opened that other engagement up with, but we're, we'll do it there. Uh, light cruiser, I think it was three destroyers, no torpedo boats, and I don't know, half dozen transports. It might have been seven, it might have been eight. I don't remember. A battleship, ba 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 ba. And I don't think I have to unlock, I don't think I do. Um, if I do, I will. So, what do you say we go ahead and get started? But before we do, we get to do the YouTube ritual, which is I sit here. Golly, after five o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, inadequately caffeinated, trying not to fall asleep sitting at my desk, and I build these videos. And if you like these videos, then your part is to consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Helps the channel a bunch. I appreciate everybody who has done that, and I'd appreciate you if you would do any or all of those things if you have not yet done so. And finally, if you'd like to see me be a little more awake, not quite so dopey in the afternoon, well, then you can buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link in the description. All right, as usual, we're going to build this thing offline because it is a little bit, in this case, it's weird. But we're going to look at the trick. The uh, the out of the box thinking that uh, my new friend the Paul V12 came up with to get four and aft balance in a Nelson. So back in just a moment. Well, okay, there she is. Now she's too big, and I have to beg my new friend the Paul version 12 or V12. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, his forgiveness is not exactly the way he described it. Uh, there's some significant differences. Uh, he loaded her up. He did an, uh, uh, he did some extra stuff. Okay, and what I did was try to get as close as to the proper armament as I could. She does have her uh, six double six inches she does have six five inches which i just wedged in somewhere and she looks about right and look at this beautiful four weight offset well without worrying about all these details in here uh, when you put 75 inches of armor 
on your secondaries and throw them all the way at the back end, all the way aft, that balances out a whole lot of weight up front. So what we have here uh, are is a battleship whose secondaries are just about invulnerable. <laughs> it's 75 inches of armor. And if they, you know, I, I, I'm babbling. I find it so entertaining because I've tried building Nelson over and over and over again, and she always had 30, 40% for uh offset weight offset and it was just killing her in terms of accuracy and handling it's just terrible and uh, you know I, I kept throwing my hands up i can't do this i can't do this well the paul v12 did it and that's because i think like i think literally and i try to build the ship to at least look like it, be like it ought to be. And he said, how do I get all this weight in the back end? Well, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw, I'll throw 12 feet of armor. <laughs> on. I'll throw, that's not 12 feet. That's not right, is it? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bunch. It's five, six feet, six feet, six feet and change, 12 feet. I can't even do simple math. It's six feet of armor on these secondary or batteries so it's crazy anyway i think that's uh cheesy it's just cheesy but it's really smart cheesy to get this old gal out there now she has a lot of other things going for her that i don't know if we're right or not uh yes i did not do it exactly the way you did the paul v12 but i took your idea and threw her out here and now we're gonna go play with it so let's go uh the next thing i know i'll be playing world of warships oh uh, i have friends who do that i think they'd be very happy i don't know they might not be happy if i got into it after all uh, all right well here we go Oh, no, 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 no. Once again, once again, I screw that up. Yeah, we might be able to save a little bit of weight here. Uh, I did have it set a little higher than he did. No, no, that screws everything up. Yeah, you know, whatever, 46.1. She's still got the same... Let's try it again. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Nelson. And she's already opening up because she's probably got the crazy radar that she probably does not deserve. Uh, which way are those guys going? They're going the wrong way. You guys better turn around. Uh, the hard part about this is she looks pretty good. Those are eight big guns. I don't know if they're 15 inches or what. Those are probably six inches. Those are probably eight inches at least. She's on a dreadnought hull. And her best buddy over here looks to have six eights, maybe. I gotta get away from that noise. I don't know if we can get that old gal to attack us, but we're gonna go after her. Another thing I did, my friend, the Paul, is uh, I did, I did keep her speed down to 23 knots. You have to forgive me. I was faithful to the spirit of your idea. But in the details, I was doing my own thing. And I don't know why I'm apologizing for it. You know, this is my channel. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these guys. I don't like what I'm seeing here. Don't like what I'm seeing here, the way these guys are doing. Attach. 
I don't know. We're about to find out. Destroyers. Whoa, they've got almost no torpedoes. 20 inches. Uh, five per launcher. Yeah, they, they've got no reloads. Yep, they've got one shot with five torpedoes. Yay. Same thing here. Well. 27 knots for her. 38 knots for them. I think it's up to you, Nelson. Let's go. The Bonaventure. Now, well, with any luck, the Bonaventure and her pals are going to leave. But there she is. Let's, uh... Let's do what I always do. Wow. That's dramatic. Wow. No selector. I gotta get a... I gotta get a video... I gotta get a video thumbnail from somewhere you know without that sky it's just not as cool and although I can't get as many yeah that's cool that's really cool oh yeah okay Whoa! We've got, we've got sun in here now. Okay, you to forgive me, but when I can get lens flare... We're back. Oh, they, turn the sound down. That's what happens. F-11. It's a beautiful thing. Look at her. Doing the uh, guns are elevating. Incoming, incoming. Guns are elevating. Pause. Oh, yeah. Oops. Not sure that's much different than what I did before. Eleven. Oh, I'm working at it. Yeah, there's just not going to be getting that in there. Wow, I don't know. You tell me. making too much noise and it's ugly and I got the shots let's go she's taken 14 inch hits already as usual as usual the AI has gotten the first licks in doesn't always happen but it happens a lot Still getting hammered. Uh. Oh well, I really need to stop this. Like I'll spend the whole I'll spend the whole game. Oh she is getting beat down. She has gotten a hit in. Likely, she's just getting slammed by somebody who's gone broadside. 
Yep, so we got six guns to her eight. And who is she firing at anyway? Well, she's been firing at the cruiser. While I was doing screenshots, she was firing at cruisers, which, you know, I guess I get paid back for my terrible habit. All right, Nelson, you're way behind. Ouch. Light cruiser needs to be shooting there. Things need to be off. All right, we should be getting our guns into play. We're already seriously behind. Yeah, we haven't touched her. As soon as we got a hit, I don't know who we hit. Oh. The light cruiser's cutting across here. Destroyers are screaming in that direction. While engaging. A lot heavy cruiser. Yep, looks like she's got a fire control advantage. I think it's more than just the number of guns. <sighs> not gonna be pretty. Yeah, this is this is not gonna work. <laughs> All right, she's gonna have to slow down if she's gonna have a chance to get a a lick in. I think we got her outgunned, just gun for gun. But if we're not hitting, it doesn't matter. All right, destroyers. This guy's already gotten whacked. Well, he's recovered. Is it? Oh, we got a good hit that time. We got a good hit that time. There's some payback. Yeah, that was some pretty cool payback. The Whitaker got hit, but she recovered. And Nelson, you know why you're doing this? secondaries engage there all right we're still behind we're still seriously behind but we did get a good whack in that cruiser is going to tear us up while we try to head for the battleship where's my light cruiser And she's firing the wrong thing. She's got nine inch gun no seven inch guns. He's got nine inch guns. Yay. Yay. Well Nelson's still in the fight. Aha. Three engine. Fourteen inch guns. Fifteen point We should be able to hurt her. We should be able to hurt her bad. Who is she engaging? Has she decided to engage the destroyers? I think she has. Well, that makes the destroyers worthwhile. Even if they get creamed. Because now... Nelson is engaging unresponded. With a 12% chance to hit. Get her, girl, get her! Ouch. 
Yeah, that's not going to work well. Aggressive. There. Torpedoes are gone. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. She probably won't survive, but she got the torpedoes off. And in fact, I think the thing to do here is probably the same thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can take down the heavy cruiser. Oh, lordy. Uh, they don't seem to want to get it. They don't seem to want to do it. Nelson, are you still working it? Still working it. Their engine hasn't been hurt particularly. All right. Now you turn. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Stop. He's you turning away. Detach. You turning away. Oh, you put your torpedoes in the water too. Okay, fine. You can turn away, Beagle. I'm okay with it now. All right. Okay. Uh, only making 27 knots. And we are not dishing out the damage we need to be dishing out from the Nelson. She's hurt, but she's no bad, more badly hurt. No more badly. She's taken no more damage than she did before. So, all right, she will almost certainly be dodging those torpedoes. Yep, she is, and probably very effectively. If it takes her out of the game for a little while, I won't feel too bad about it. Oh, 15 inch fire is kind of hard on a destroyer hull. Come on, girl. You got to dish out some damage. Got to get some hits. That ain't the way to do it. She's still firing at the destroyers. Yeah, those torpedoes won't mean squat. For that matter, the German battleship has uh, the German battleship has torpedoes. That's exciting. We're gonna lose another destroyer here shortly. There she goes. Oh, good hit! Good hit, good hit, good hit. Now, I got a feeling we've been inside her torpedo range for a while. Oh, goodness gracious, 24 inches that are good for. 24 inches? There are torpedoes in the water somewhere that are very scary. Nice hit. Oh, she's got an ammo explosion. Very a little payback. We're getting a little payback. Well, she has some torpedoes left. Come on around. Man, I don't believe that we haven't seen torpedoes from this old girl. 22 kilometers, 24 inches, 50 knots. Wow. All right, she just put... A 
unless she's got a whole single. <laughs> you got a whole single torpedo launcher. All right, come around this way. Destroyer. She has torpedoes. Smoke them up. Let's go see if we can get us a piece of that cruiser. Nelson. You oh 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 what happened to her? We have to examine this. She's had two ammo detonations. We've got twelve sixteen inch hits for thirty two hundred and one. Yeah, okay. Um you know what? I think we got this under control. Assuming that we don't end up with a torpedo attack that we don't know what to do with. Meanwhile, this destroyer is crazy. It's going back for more. Go. She's got it under control, but she can barely move. Oh, that was a slug. That might have been a deadly hit. It was done. Auto H E. Everybody focus on the cruiser because we have we have done done it. We got some lucky hits there that I didn't see. This old gal has got problems. Wait, 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 have I lost a torpedo launcher on her? Nope, nope, there it is, I can see it. Go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Got him away. <laughs> Destroyers die so hard. They just get killed so good. Nelson! Oh, 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 she's just. There goes our destroyer. Come on, Nelson. She doesn't have any torpedoes. This is not a fight that's going to make her happy. All right, who's got her weapons off? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ouch! There's that weapon. Ooh, she took a heck of a hit. I didn't see it. Will we tag her? Oh, yes. We certainly will. Man, she must have gotten hammered. Yeah, she got some bad 9 inch hits. And... There you go! Well, I wouldn't say my play was particularly... <laughs> I wouldn't say my play was particularly brilliant there. Got lucky with uh, our Nelson look-alike uh, smacking the German battleship really hard uh, in the late game after taking early, early hits that were not res well responded. Um, the AI really likes to shoot at light forces. It really does. So... You fling them in there, and all of a sudden the big guns aren't focusing on your big guns, which gives you some breathing space. Uh, it's hard on your destroyers. <laughs> it's really hard on your destroyers. But, uh, you know, it's a winning play in some situations, and that's what we're up to here. Well, that went pretty quick. It was a lot of fun. Uh, 
I don't even know how long this one's been running yet, but we're going to call it a day here in a minute. Thanks again to the Paul V12 for this brilliant idea. We just might take her out again another time. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. In the meantime, I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.